All right, greetings, real filmers. I'm here at San Diego Comic Con, and I have with me the stars of Dead Before Dawn. I have Devin Bostic. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Brandon J. McLaren. What's happening? And Martha McIsaac. How you doing? Hi, good. How are you? Awesome. Uh, well, first off, uh, I just wanted to have an idea of what drew you guys to this, you know, project from the get go. Because there are a lot of you know different horror films out there. Um, well, what's cool and unique about this one is, it's, for one, it's Canada's first 3D film, which is pretty cool to be part of. In the of. history of the yeah, union. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> uh, but yeah. also, it was, it was interesting, I mean, I've done a f- few zombie films with, like, George Romero before, but it was cool because it had the twist of zombie demons, and it was kind of quirky, and and these these characters were funny and, and relatable, but also just, it's it was a lot of fun, there was a lot of fun to be had, and you could tell that it was going to be a good time shooting, so. Okay. Well, yeah. are, you, are you guys is it basically the same reason, or do you guys have something you know unique among yourselves that kind of drew you to the project? I mean, for me, uh, I had uh, I had just come off uh, a show that was very serious and heavy and dramatic and sad and depressing, <laughs> and so I jumped at the chance to do something that was like high comedy, gotcha. really over the top, silly, and uh, and this was that project, and I get to work with these. Talent, talent. Yeah. This is talent right here. Yeah. Talent on my right. No. Talent on my left. No. no. Okay. I tried. Go ahead. You can answer. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, well, this question will be directed to you, Martha. I'm right. glad, glad you kind of got singled out. Um, you know, you had a, a chance to, to be in uh, in uh, um, a lot of uh, comedic uh, films, particularly with Superbad. So in terms of... You know the way that you approached the project, because every you know comedy versus horror, you know, have different beats. You know, what what would you say is the specific beat that you felt that you had to transition to with this film? Um, well, I, to me, I, I kind of approach all the genres almost in the same way. As long as you come at it in a real manner, it's going to come across as it should, I think. And I was excited to get on board with this because it's you know new filmmakers, and they were excited, and they were this is their passion and their baby, and you know it's always kind of fun to join people in that kind of mission to get their 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 projects and their passions done. Okay, awesome. a funny funny mission. A funny funny yeah. mission because it's not just a straight horror; it's horror with laughter. Okay, which all is right. Okay. All right. Well, this is directed to you, Brandon, as well as Devin. Um, Devin, you know, you've recently been in, you know, a lot of films that are, you know, a lot more family oriented. So, you know, what has that transition been like for you with this film to do something that's a little, you know, more adult? Oh, well, it's interesting, actually. I avoided doing kids stuff for my entire career. I've been, uh, I, the only kids stuff I've done is the Diary of Olympic Kids. Right, that's what I'm saying, most uh, recently. It's cool. It was nice to get back to kind of saying fuck and shit on stuff, you know. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> uh, but I'm not allowed to say that. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I, it was fun to get back into sort of being more my age. And But I, I love all the Wimpy Kids. I mean, that was uh, one of the greatest experiences ever. Um, but it was just sort of getting back into to being more my age and doing that sort of stuff because I used to do a bunch of like indies and darker right horror and dramatic films mm-hmm. that that aren't uh, for kids but uh, yeah it was nice to kind of get back to that but I love kids films as well so seeing that this is a zombie film what would you say are you know the films that that you enjoy in terms of that genre that subgenre within horror I mean, well, we were talking earlier today. Zombieland is actually one that's, Love that's film. Uh, sure. yeah. more recent, but that that uh, was one of my favorite zombie films I saw with with a comedy twist. Never and seen that one. I've seen the trailer though, and I oh. like the trailer. You gotta go see it. I'm too scared to watch zombie movies. For real? I can't. I do Walking Dead though, but zombie movies for some reason I just can't. I can't do scary movies. Okay. okay. I know. All right. But this one I can handle. It okay. is funny it's though. The it, right is, it's, it is. And we were talking as well. Tucker date. Uh, Tucker and Dale, Tucker versus, Dale versus, versus Evil. Evil. Right, right. Ooh, mouthful. Yeah. Uh, but it, it is along the same sort of vein as that with the, the sort of goofy, high, high energy comedy, but also got a twist of horror to it. But it's a, a laugh the whole ride. So, okay. yeah. Awesome, awesome, guys. Well, aside from this project, uh, can you guys talk a little bit about of what, what fans can expect uh, next from, from either of you guys? Um, I've got uh, I'm <laughs> I'm in the new CW show called The Hundred, so I shot the pilot, sure. and that um, is just got picked up. So they're they're doing that, and uh, there's some crazy twists going on in that. And uh, also, I have a film coming out probably next year called Small Time. Okay. Um, yeah. 
Uh, I have a show on the air right now called Graceland on USA Network. Right. Um, Check it out. 10 o'clock, Thursday nights. No zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Just break. Just ass kicking. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Martha. Um, actually, Devin and I just finished producing a short film together. Oh, wow. Okay. Brandon's yeah. in it. I'm and also Brandon's in that. And Brandon's in it. Yeah. And Martha. So we're all, we and all kind of it. stuck close together yeah. after yeah. shooting. And what's the name of that film? It's called Seasick Sailor. Oh, okay. Yeah. So check it out at some point in the near future. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, there you have it, real filmers. Uh, Thanks, till next man. time. Thanks again, Thanks guys. So Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right.